beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're getting into some fall favorite lip colors it's not quite fall yet technically but I have just decided to start living my life as if it is fall I have been buying soup and new sweaters I've been putting out fall decor much to my husband's dismay I already put some of my fall earrings on my Etsy shop and I am wearing them in my little bubble I'm ready for fall so I'm just gonna go with it I'm gonna run with all the good fall feelings and that means breaking out some of my fall favorite makeup as well. So today I wanna to share with you 10 lip colors that I am already loving for fall, anticipating wearing all season long. And there's, as usual for my lip favorites, there's a really wide variety here. I have a lot of different finishes, a lot of different price points, and it's my hope that there's sort of something for everyone, no matter what types of colors you like, finishes, and what your budget looks like. Hopefully there's something here that inspires you to find your next fall favorite lip color too. I didn't actually check to see if all of these are still currently available. I am literally just telling you my favorites. So please accept my sincere apology if any of these are discontinued or sold out because I don't base my favorites on what's available. I base my favorites on what's my favorite. I feel like that makes sense. So hopefully all of these things are still available. Some of them are newer, some of them have been around for a long time. I'm guessing the majority of these are still available, but I won't know until I start doing the description box. I am so sorry if I introduce you to a color here that you love and that you can't get anymore. Maybe then we'll have a whole nother video and we'll just find dupes for the things that are already discontinued. I'm gonna show you close-ups of each one of these favorites and I'm also gonna show you lip swatches of all 10 lip colors. These are not in any particular order. I'm just gonna go through and swatch them, basically grouped by what type of finish they have. That's usually the easiest that I can try to avoid staining my lips and all that good stuff. So in no particular order, let's take a look at my top 10 fall favorite lip colors. We're gonna start off with the lip glosses first. I have three different glosses here and we're getting very wildly different colors and price points here. First, let's start off with the ColourPop So Glassy Gloss in the shade Huntington. This is such a gorgeous little deep brown warm tinted gloss. I've been wearing this a ton lately and I think this transitions really well from summer to fall. Next up is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Rust. This is a very very pigmented gloss so you definitely want to be pretty careful with this one because it can transfer really easily but this is such a gorgeous rusty red and it's super comfortable. I love the lifter glosses. If you're looking for something a little bit more cool toned for fall, I'm definitely moving into more cool tones with the cooler weather. This minted lip gloss in the shade Mauve Over is just that perfect little cool neutral gloss. It goes with everything and when I wear a cool toned eye look, I always reach for this gloss. Now we're gonna talk about some traditional like bullet style lipsticks. First up is the ColourPop Glowing Lip in the shade Museum Date. This has been a favorite of mine since it launched. It's just a gorgeous, really warm, rusty red shade, but it's so comfy, it's so easy to wear, and it really looks good on everybody. Now, if you want a more matte option for your lipstick, then this MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Devoted to Chili is really that perfect burnt orange lip color. It does pull a little bit more pinky neutral on me, but I absolutely love this formula. It's one of the most comfortable matte bullet lipsticks alongside the Milani Color Fetish Lipsticks, which are also mattes but have more of a satiny finish than the Powder Kiss. This shade Passion is another one that's been a longtime favorite for me. And this is another more neutral undertone. It's not quite as toasty, rusty brick red like many of these other colors. For example, one of my beloved 
luxe lipstick shades is this one Gallup. I've talked about this quite a lot. It was in my recent ColourPop lip favorites. And when it comes to a fall lip color, you're really not going to find anything more perfect than Gallup, at least in my opinion. Now I do have a couple of liquid lipsticks for you. The first is a really soft minky brown shade called Wild Ride from the Revlon Satin Ink Line. This reminds me so much of one of my favorite MAC lipsticks called Wellbred Brown that has since been discontinued. It was part of the Lip Tensity line. This has a really similar shade and I absolutely love this formula. I know I've raved about it a lot. A newer one to my collection is the NYX Smooth Whips. These are a matte lip color and this shade Faux Fur was one of my favorites from my initial swatch video and it's just going to be that rusty red staple lip for me that's going to take me from fall into winter. Same with the Kaleidos Lip Clay. This is the shade Cognac, and this is definitely a brownish red, another one that's going to look good on pretty much everybody. And this has to be the most comfortable, weightless, liquid lipstick, especially for a such a matte formula. Now, I want to show you all of these lip colors together because I think when you see the individual lip swatches, they can tend to sort of run together and look all the same. But here you can really tell the differences in not just the finishes, but the undertones. I do tend to move away from the peachier, pinkier nude shades that I prefer in spring and summer and go towards a more brownish neutral undertone or for these really rusty and brick toned almost red but not quite red type of shades. Those are always my favorites especially paired with some borderline grungy fall eye looks. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of these deep brownish red lips and toasty warm shades mixed with greens. That's really the color palette I'm feeling for my fall looks this year. That wraps up my top 10 favorite fall lip colors. I would love to hear what your fall favorites are or if it is not fall in your hemisphere, happy spring. You can tell us what your spring favorites are. Then. No matter where in the world you are, no matter what type of makeup you like to wear, I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, shiny, shiny eyeshadow. It's always a problem. Every time. Every day. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Not so subtle plug for my fall collection on my Etsy shop. It's always my favorite thing I do every year. Fall and Halloween are my favorite things that I design every single year. And I am so happy that I get to play with fall and Halloween beads. I'm really excited. I hope that you like the things I make as much as I like them. Mm -hmm. By the way, I did film this makeup look and it's already on my channel so go check it out because I really like how this turned out and I think it was like the perfect fall-y type of makeup look to show off all of these fall lip colors. So it's the Huda Love Fest collection. I'll link it in the description but just in case you're wondering. I've also been wearing this Sneaky Balm from Salt New York and it looks so, it looks like there's nothing on my skin which I love. If you like really light coverage, really, really natural skin makeup, Sneaky Balm, check it out. It looks so nice. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna go recaffeinate and uh, probably film some more stuff for you. Or go play with Halloween beads. Maybe a little bit of both. A little bit of both sounds good. Okay, but I'll see you here, there, everywhere. Thanks for hanging out. Happy fall. Let's just, let's just start saying it and then maybe it'll come true. Okay, I love all of your beautiful little faces and I will talk to you real soon and I'll see you back. Okay, thanks for hanging out. Okay, bye.